all the way in town from Los Angeles. Friend of the show. You can hear his sports podcast, Not a Fan, on everywhere. You can hear podcasts. Start clapping now, ladies and gentlemen, for Joe Faina. Keep that clapping going for Duncan, you guys, and Brandon, and yourselves for surviving. We made it. We're all here. How are y'all? You feeling good? Yeah. I'm feeling great. I got catcalled the other day. That's right. I, too. I did. I got catcalled the other day. Don't worry. Still a guy. And it's always men who do it. They're doing it to everybody. Lately, strange men have just been approaching me on the street and offering unsolicited compliments about my beard. And they're completely unnecessary. You know, these men, they're just entitled to their opinions. And you have to listen to them crossing the street, asking me about my facial hair. And you know what? I like it. I do. I'm not sure if that's the response you're supposed to have, but it is the one I'm going with. I like it a lot. I'm not the kind of guy who's up here fishing for compliments, but I will accept them. And I do need them very badly, so thanks, men. Appreciate it. It's the one thing men are not screwing up, is we've become slightly more comfortable when complimenting when other men have put in the work. You look nice tonight, sir. It's not a bad thing, it's just a strange thing. If you're the kind of person who went to the kind of high school that I did, you had a lot of friends who were just daring everyone to be gay. Just constantly trying to invent scenarios and to trick someone into saying something gay, being gay, acting gay. Questions that you can't answer. How much money would it take, bro? <laughs> hey, bro. How much money would it take for you to suck a dick? I don't know what the response to that is. I don't know. More than you have right now, I would imagine. <laughs> But you can't give them an answer. It doesn't work that way. That's not the point. You gotta give them a follow-up question. You gotta punch the bullies back. Someone asked me that, how much money would it take? I say, is it your dick or can I pick which dick it is? <laughs> they never know how to answer that one. Throws them off, right? They're all like... I don't know, man, I guess... I guess you can pick. <laughs> to which I always respond, cool, I pick yours. And <laughs> shuts them right up. So, y'all can use that. The next time you're out hanging out with high school kids, I don't know what you're doing when you're telling I've gone bald, but somehow I'm the hairiest I've ever been. <laughs> Anyone else feeling me? I was clean shaven this morning. I'm not even wearing a shirt. I just wove this out of my own belly button today. My hair has just moved to a different part of town. You know what I mean? Repopulated. I am worried. I am worried at the start of a new year that I am wearing way too much denim. And <laughs> it's become a concern. Anybody else having this problem? <laughs> I, look like, I look like I've been sleeping in the back of a Levi's store for weeks. Just <laughs> trying to set a good example. You know what I mean? That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to set a good example for the people in my family, for the kids in my life. I don't have kids. My brother does. I'm not sure if I want kids. You know what I mean? It's a big decision. Sometimes it's more important to know what you don't want than what you do, you know? Like kids, or a job, or the vegan option. And I'm not sure if I want kids, but I, I, am, I am an uncle, and that's great. I have a nephew. Tomorrow's his birthday, actually. I'm very pumped. I'm very pumped for my nephew. It's a big responsibility being an uncle. Right, any uncles in here? Yeah, right? So there's no middle room with the uncle. There's no middle ground. Either, think of your uncle. Either that person. 
is the best family member or the worst family member. <laughs> Not quite sure which decision or direction I'm going to go. And my name is Joe, so I'm an Uncle Joe, and that's an extra layer of pressure. There's a lot of those. I had an Uncle Joe. My dad had an Uncle Joe. He had a gambling problem and a secret phone in the back of his house. I have a lot to live up to. Here's what I am gonna do. I'm going to teach him bad words. That's a compromise, right? I'm gonna teach my nephew bad words. That's my responsibility. But which bad words? You know, like the classics? Like bullshit? An asshole? Probably. I'll probably teach those. <laughs> or am I gonna go with more new bad words like patriarchy and gentrification? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because all that is bullshit. Full of assholes. 